Hey guys, how are you? I just want to do a quick comment on architecting applications, whether it be web apps, or mobile apps, whatever. Basically, structuring the basic logic, code structure, framework around an, an app or even a website you might be building. So one of the things I like to do is I just write it out. Now, in the old days, I used to write it out on paper. Now, though, I tend to use my iPad because I find that I can actually write quicker with the iPad than with pen to paper. It's just the, uh, the iPad e-ink, if you will, flows much quicker than normal ink. And then once I write it all out on paper or on iPad, work out some ideas, then I'll write it out in, of course, a text format. And then I'll start working on the database structure. And then I forward that off to my lead developer. And then we bat this back and forth. I'll talk to some other developers I know are highly experienced just to get their input. For example, we are about to do a rewrite of the video store. We have the old video store system that we developed, I don't know, 10 years ago. And it's pretty advanced, has all kinds of capabilities and so forth. But I want to integrate now everything within the Studio Web 4 platform for uh, institutional buyers and individual buyers as well. And so I was looking at, okay, do we take the old store and then somehow integrate that with the new Studio Web platform, or maybe we should do a rewrite from scratch. And I decided for a whole bunch of reasons I won't get into here, I decided I was gonna do a whole rewrite from scratch because the new Studio Web platform is just very, very different. The way most people want to learn online these days are very different than it was 10 years ago or so when I built the first video store. So we start re-architecting from scratch. And the reason I'm doing this video because it brings to mind something I keep talking about all the time. I'm able to architect a new application efficiently because I have my knowledge of fundamentals rather is uh, very solid, not just in terms of application fundamentals, but also in terms of data stores, how you store data, different types of database strategies and so on. And I think about not just how easy it is to set up a database, you have to also look at, and more importantly, you have to look at the medium and long-term implications of your database structure. Because uh, you're putting in a database because you want to store information, so it seems reasonable that you're going to want to pull out information at some point to get reports and to, um, you know, to assess what's going on in your business, whether it be an e-commerce shop or whatever. So you have to, uh, have a good understanding of database design, understanding what type of data structures will facilitate certain types of reports, as an example. And uh, it just goes on from there. And again, that's why I emphasize the fundamentals all the time, because your knowledge of fundamentals in terms of, uh, you know, it could be, I'll give you an example, fundamentals of database structure, how you organize your information, and how the way you organize and structure your information, how it's going to impact the reporting down of a road, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes it makes sense to go with a relational database. So we're talking MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, whatever. Sometimes it might make sense to go with a NoSQL database. We used to call these flat file systems. Although, as I said in previous videos, 90% 90, 90 of the time plus, you're probably gonna be better off with an SQL-based database, but there's some debate with that. Anyhow, so there you go. Uh, I just wanted to uh, briefly talk about architectures, and some people have asked me, you know, what's your process? What's your process when you sit down to build a web app or a website or any type of thing? The first thing I do is I, I look at the views, what people actually see, and then I look at the database structure, and then I think about the middle layer, all the code you can actually write. So let's say you're doing something in Python, and it's a web app, and you're, doing, you're going to use Django or maybe Flask as your framework for the web. Again, I do the same thing. I create all my views, basically the HTML that people see. And then I look at the database, and I structure that. And then I start thinking about the uh, Python code I'm going to write to stick it all together. And this applies to whatever language you want to use, whether it be PHP, Python, Java, C, .NET, C Sharp, whatever. 
The only one you don't want to use, of course, is Ruby because it's that's just terrible. That's a joke. It's just a joke. It's my Ruby joke. Anyway, that's uh, pretty much it. Just a quick vlog. I'm starting to get back into a more of a regular routine of videos now uh, since I took care of a whole bunch of work. And uh, I think given the response I get in this video, I believe that I'm going to give you guys, uh, I don't know, kind of a story of how we, we are building the new store for uh, the videos and the course, uh, the course distribution and so forth. I think it might be interesting for you guys to hear the thinking along the way. All right, that's about it. I gotta go. I gotta get something to eat. Ciao, ciao.